In this video, we will discuss the thermodynamic states of ideal gases. A state can be described by a set of variables that are called state variables. And for example, that can be pressure, temperature, volume, the total mass, or the number of moles. And a relation between state variables is called an equation of state. For example, you have already heard of uh, the equation of an ideal gas, PV equal NRT. Uh, but there are other equations of states. For example, the Van der Waals equation, which is for uh, not so ideal gases. And we can even write an equation of state for a solid or a liquid. Right? We have learned that when you increase the temperature, the volume will increase. And so we can write that V is equal to V0 times 1 plus beta T minus T0. In this equation, beta is the coefficient of volume thermal expansion in inverse Kelvin. Right? This is an equation of state that relates the volume with the temperature. But we can also introduce the pressure and add a term such as minus K times P minus P0. Uh, in this case, K is the compressibility in inverse Pascal. And we have a negative sign because an increase of pressure should result in a decrease of volume. So there are many kinds of equation of states, but in physics 9b, we will mostly work with the equation of states for an ideal gas. So let's review the equation of states for an ideal gas, PV equal NRT. In this equation, P is the pressure in Pascal, V is the volume in cubic meters, T is the temperature in Kelvin, I've said this already, but make sure you use Kelvin for this equation, right? This is the number one mistake. Um, R is the gas constant. R is equal to 8.314 joule per mole per Kelvin. And N is the number of moles. So let's analyze this equation. First, you see that the volume is proportional to the number of moles. So if you double the number of moles of gas, then, uh, and you keep all the other conditions the same, then you will double the volume. Um, then you see that the volume is inversely proportional to the pressure. This is known as a Boyle's law after Robert Boyle. And to illustrate this, um, I put this green balloon in a jar and I start to pump uh, the pressure to, uh, to reduce the pressure in the jar. And as the pressure is reduced, you can see that the volume of the balloon increases. Since V is inversely proportional to the pressure, uh, if you decrease P, you increase V. And then I stop the pump and I open the jar to atmospheric pressure. And you see that then the volume of the balloon decreases. Still from PV equal NRT, you see that the volume is also proportional to the temperature. Right? This works only if you use the temperature in Kelvin. And this is known as Charles' law, after Jack Charles. Um, to illustrate this, I'm going to cool down some balloons with liquid nitrogen. As the temperature decreases, you can see that the volume of the balloon decreases. In fact, I can almost make the balloon flat. I kind of like to play with balloons and liquid nitrogen. So forgive me, but I'm going to play a little more with them. Okay, let me do another demo to illustrate that the volume of gases depends on temperature. In this demo, I will set up the burner and then turn on the gas, then turn on the burner. Then I will create some steam. So I add a small amount of water into a can of coke, and then I will warm up the can of coke with the burner. As I do this, the water boils and the can of coke is uh, filled with steam. Then I will dump this into cold water. And you see what happens? The volume decreases so rapidly that the can of coke is completely crunched. Right? The cold water cools down the steam and as the temperature decreases, the volume decreases as well. Okay, let's come back to PV equal NRT. You also see that the pressure 
is proportional to the temperature. Again, this also works only if the temperature is in Kelvin. And this is known as Amontons law after Guillaume Amontons. We have already seen that, in fact, uh, this is the concept behind the constant volume gas thermometer. And this is at the origin of the Kelvin scale. Now, a few more things to say about PV equal NRT. It works for all gases and it works better at high temperature and low pressure. That means far from the liquefaction. The model to derive PV equal NRT makes two key assumptions. First, the volume of the gas uh, of the gas particles is negligible. That means the atoms or the molecules of the gas are considered as point-like. And second, the interactions between particles are negligible. That means that the atoms or the molecules don't see each other and they behave as if they were alone. Now, before we conclude, we will do two more things. Um, we will do an example of a numerical application and an example of a graphical representation. So let's start with the example of question. What is the volume of one mole of an ideal gas at the standard temperature and pressure? Now, the standard temperature and pressure are actually defined precisely. The standard temperature is taken as zero degrees Celsius and the standard pressure is one atmosphere. That is 1.013 10 to the five Pascals. Now, don't forget to convert the temperature in Kelvin. So zero degrees Celsius is 273.15 Kelvin. And then we can use PV equal NRT to write the volume as V equal NRT over P. And if you do the calculation, you find 0 0.0224 cubic meters. And that is 22.4 liters. So that's about a cube that is 28 centimeters on the side. So in such a cube, there is uh, one mole of gas, and this is known as the molar volume of a gas. Now, finally, we discuss a type of diagram that we will use uh, often in thermodynamics. Those are called PV diagrams, and they simply, simply represent the pressure as a function of volume. Right? So for an ideal gas, we know the, the function that gives the pressure as a function of volume, it is P is equal to NRT over V. And so on the PV diagram, we can represent the curves that vary as one over V. And we have a different curve for each different temperatures. And uh, each of those curves are called isotherms because they represent constant temperatures. And we will use these diagrams when we want to calculate the work done by a gas.